Hey guys, my name is Gabe, and this is episode 20 to Let's Make Rust. So in this episode, we're actually going to be um, adding another weapon. So we're going to be now adding the axe uh, to our game, which is um, one step closer to our inventory. And we're also going to be fixing a problem with the uh, with the Glock, where you could repeatedly um, give yourself ammo. So you would have infinite ammo basically every time you'd hit R. It was a very simple fix. So yeah uh stay tuned and enjoy all right so to get started um i want to fix that ammo bug that we had in the last episode so we're going to go into our scripts folder uh weapons and go back to our shooting system here and this clip equals it used to be eight um we actually have to change it to max clip size because our max clip size is seven so uh that was my fault just make it a max clip size and we won't have that problem anymore with the reloading okay so once we got that out of the way um uh, we're going to go into our models folder, and I actually imported this axe. I will include the link in the description. Um, what's happening here, the reason it looks like this, is because um, who made the mesh um, seems to have put the background here. I don't think this was made for games. As you could see, there are it's, that's a lot of vertices, but that's okay. So here in our axe, um, I'm going to delete this plane, uh, this camera, and... I think we could just drag this out. Hmm. Okay, so that's already in our weapon manager. So as you can see, here's our axe. We have, sorry, that's my dog. We have um, mesh and mesh uh, 001. So this is the head and this is the bar. Okay, or rather handle, I guess we'll call it that. Okay, um, we can go into our materials here and I'm gonna drag these out. Not X, so BM X. Okay. We don't need this folder. It's empty. Uh, we, I don't know what this texture is. Okay, so on our handle, I'm assuming is this texture? Wood texture. Let's see this. Okay. And this is our. Is this? Apply this. Okay. Um. It doesn't really look right, but it'll it'll do for now. Um, it's okay. This is just a tutorial, so this will this will be fine. I'm gonna bring the smoothness up so it kind of has a uh, the if, like a shininess effect, and the handle. Um, I'll remove that smooth effect. So I don't know. Kind of looks a little bit more like an axe. Um, I'll apply this to the player. Actually, no. Before I do that, I want to create an empty object and call this axe and this is the axe model so i'm going to drag that onto the axe and now we're going to apply the player so uh now that's part of the player um might want to scale down the model too so in the axe over here maybe 0 0.25 maybe that's too big okay well now the head is not in the correct position. So, okay, just kind of adjust this. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so maybe I'll do the center. And I would manually scale this, but um, in case we, for some reason, want to change the, um, the scale, programmatically, um, it'll be much easier if we just do it this way. So I'm gonna bring this down here, uh, rotate it like that, kind of, maybe. Maybe that's too big. Just kind of play around with it um, until you find a position that you like. So maybe something like that. That's fine for me. So maybe, yeah, maybe I won't lower it. That's okay. Or uh, lower the scale. This is fine. Okay, so over here in our weapons folder, I we're going to go to the melee system, and we're going to add that same lerp effect that we had on the melee system, So, or sorry, in the shooting system, or um, with the weapon sway, because we want that to work the same uh, in this. So I'm going to copy this and put this in the melee system right here. Okay, and 
in fixed update, which we don't have. So let's make a private void fixed update. Okay, I'm gonna bring this over here. We're gonna copy the, we're gonna copy this. Okay, so now in our melee system, we're just gonna paste that in. So that's also a reason I quoted it because I knew that we were gonna do this eventually. Uh, this should work already, so let's go try it out. Okay, melee system. Um, what is it swaying? Uh, it is going to sway the Okay, our local, our local position. Okay, that's fine. So, FPS camera is our main camera. Okay, and hit play. Let's see, this definitely did not work. Okay, so I think I figured out the problem. Um, it's over here in our, we have a melee system applied to the player. So we're just gonna wanna remove that component and enable the ax again. So let's see. Okay, so we don't have that weird bug anymore. Uh, but this doesn't work because I wonder why. Okay. Probably the position is um, here. I, I'm going to split this. So I'm going to put the game here. And you could, I think it's smooth, but it's obviously not in the correct um, position. Yeah, it, it is smoothing. Hmm. Okay. How did we fix this for the Glock? So in our shooting system, we had, if aiming is true, weapon object that transformed to local position. Weapon object. Okay, so we're gonna um, grab weapon object. And in fixed update, we're gonna make our weapon object that transformed that local position is now equal to our um, normal position. So that should work because now, oh, no, don't hit play. Okay, so to actually test this out and uh, get this to work, I'm actually going to open up our pause manager. And over here where we have is paused, um, I'm going to actually disable the time scale stuff for now so that we can see if that works out. So if I, if we hit play and go to scene, and adjust, yeah, okay, so we can now adjust the um, the X. So change like that. Okay, make, make it a little lower. That was the X. Push it forward, Z. And to the right a little bit. Yeah, okay, that's good. So I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna copy the component, and I'll make sure you copy the component and then just paste it. So paste component values, and hit apply. So now when you hit play, you should see the ax is in this position, and you can, it has like this sway now effect. Um, I'm gonna also make this infinite like we did for the shooting system, so that we don't have that weird problem. Hit apply, okay. So now when we hit play, you should see that um, the, it sways normally, like it should. So this is um, working well. So if we go to the tree and we could, we could chop down this tree now. Uh, the reason we did this is so that we can test out weapon switching with different weapons. So now we have an ax, and I think the ax, okay, it kind of killed it. Uh, that's still an AI problem that we have to fix, where the nav mesh is still trying to find uh, find out where to go even though it doesn't exist anymore. So we'll fix that um, 
Okay, so this is to test multiple weapons. I'm gonna go back to the time scale and I'm gonna unquote that so that we um, set the pause menu now works like it should. Uh, okay. I'm just trying to see what to do to do here. I'm gonna make an axe pickup actually. So that'll be pretty cool. I'm gonna duplicate this axe and bring it out here and enable it. This is going to be the model or this is going to be the um, axe pickup, which this doesn't really, this one doesn't matter if we scale it down. So I'll take this, call it axe pickup, remove the melee system, uh, scale this down by half, because that's, yeah, that's a good size. Um, okay, is it a good size? No, actually that's not. Let's see, 0 0.7. Okay, that that looks more appropriate. Um, okay, so we're gonna select the axe pickup again. Bring it out here, a little down. I, I wanna put it on the table. And select like that, global, so it's a little easier to move. I'm going to add a box collider to this. Actually, why not just do a mesh collider and add convex. Okay, that doesn't work. Oh, right, we have to select our mesh. Um, what was it? What's the mesh called? Let's go to our axe. And you could see the mesh is called mesh. Okay, <laughs> sounds good. Let's go back to our axe pickup over here and look for mesh. There it is. That is way too big. Yeah, we'll just do a box collider. It doesn't matter. Um, just want to make this um, good enough so that we could just be able to pick it up. It doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, the coordinates are kind of flipped a little bit, so it might be a little confusing to work with sometimes. But that's just how it wants to be. So like that. And then 0 0.25, I think would be good. And then Z, no, Y, X. Yeah, that's a little strange. And just center this on the Z axis. And that that's fine for now. We can work with that. It doesn't really matter too much. So that'll work. And on our axe pickup, we're gonna do, we're gonna add the weapon pickup script, and this is called axe. We also have to tag this as weapon pickup, and we have to give it the layer interact, and this object only. In our prefab, so I'm going to add the axe pickup, and I also want to add a rigid body to this. Okay, so let's see if this all worked. You can see an axe here. Pick it up, and we picked up an axe. So that's working fine. Uh, looks like we are, looks like we're good. So yeah, I think that'll be fine. Yeah, okay, I, I expected that. I, I want to fix that. So we're gonna do in our weapon manager here, I'm gonna actually make a script, because I don't think we have one. So weapons, I'm just gonna make a sharp script called weapon manager. And in our weapon manager, I'm just gonna make a boolean has weapon is equal to false. So it's just gonna be like that for now. This will also control uh, switching out weapons and stuff. So on our weapon manager, I'm just gonna put that and apply. And for interact, no, not interact, for weapon pickup. So we're gonna go over here to our weapon pickup script. We're gonna do if weapon manager, oh, right we might want to get the script as well. So private weapon manager, the manager script, weapon manager object. I'm just renaming, uh, renaming this with control R. So control, yeah, you hit R twice. And then we're going to do weapon manager script is equal to uh, weapon manager object dot get component weapon manager. 
So find weapon manager script. Okay, and here we're gonna do if has weapon weapon manager dot has weapon is equal to false, then we can do all this cool stuff. So now we shouldn't be able to pick up two weapons at the same time because that looks retarded. So let's go over here, pick up our Glock. Okay, and now we sh we are still able <laughs> to pick up the weapon, and that is because over here we forgot to do weapon manager script that has weapon is now equal to true. So set has weapon true in weapon manager script. Okay, cool. So let's go here. Test this out. Hopefully it'll actually work this time. I think it will. So pick up the Glock. You can see now in the top right over here, has weapon is true. Uh, we go over to the axe, and now we can't pick it up. But we could still pick up other things, which is nice. So that works. Looks like we have a working system. So there's no way to actually drop the weapon, and I'm not going to add a weapon dropping system because that would be kind of um, pointless considering we're going to be able to do that in inventory. So we would then just have to completely remove that system. And it would just be, again, I died. It would just be a big waste of time. So we're not going to worry about that just yet until we have the inventory. So I know I keep um, pushing the inventory, but we do have to get a lot of these things out of the way before we can actually do the inventory. So it'll be easier for us to, uh, to do in the future. Like this axe, now that we have two different weapons, it'll be easier for us to make the inventory so that we can see um, so it'll be easier to test things I also want to change the interact key back to E because I like that better just preference we're gonna make it so that you can actually change the controls in the future so you can make it whatever you want you can change um, a lot of things you're gonna be able to change image effects like bloom uh, vignetti like we have vignetti here for the Glock you can turn that on and off if you'd like. Um, we're gonna have motion blur, which is a pretty nice effect, I like it. So, yeah, um, that's pretty much it for this episode. Um, if you enjoyed it, uh, please uh, subscribe. If you have any questions, just leave a comment down below, I'll be sure to answer it, and have a good one.